Well, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So glad that you found your way here. Uh, today, my friend Donald and I are playing a game of Cryptic. You've seen me do some box openings on the channel and some pack openings on the channel. Uh, and I've got free decks from the LGS. We've got the free uh, starter decks. I've been opening up the packs from the starter decks on the channel. So I'm gonna put a bunch more of those on the website right now whenever I go live with this video. So if you're interested in learning how to play Cryptic, make sure you check that out at cavdainsmarket.com. You can also pick up stuff. Uh, I also have a bunch of singles. Donald just added some singles to, to beat me. You are sideboarding from my collection right yes. now. That yes. is amazing. This is game <laughs> two for us. Uh, we did not record game one. I'm playing like an aggro humans deck uh, that's been going around a lot. And Donald's playing a mid rangey ascendant deck. Uh, so it should be pretty fun. Donald's up 1 0 on me. Uh, we're just going to hang out and kind of show you how to play and have a little chill time so if you're having fun with us make sure you leave a comment hit the uh, subscribe button and hit like and uh we will uh, show you how to play and then if you are interested in picking this up make sure you pick that up at captainsmarket.com and we're doing an event on march 5th if you want to compete with it's that saturday i think it's the fourth fifth whatever it is fourth i think it's the fourth uh if you want to compete with donald and i uh you can come to the event in hurricane west virginia hurricane west virginia uh on march 4th uh, we have a lot of fun. So to start the game, you put your six 11 year cards on the table. Those are your 11 year cards uh, and you win the game by destroying your opponent's 11 year cards and then attacking your opponent for any amount of damage. So that's basically how the game goes. You won the first game. So I get to go first here. Uh, Mulligans, you get to take a look at your cards and then you can bury uh, any number of them and draw that many in this case. I am going to have to do some of that for sure. Uh, this mulligan system is so much better than... Well, people try and do this in Magic all the time. They call it partials in Commander. They always want to keep like their combo pieces and pitch everything else. Yeah. And I hate it. I yeah. hate I hate partials. combo and Commander in general. Yeah, it's stupid. But I probably should have buried more, but I didn't. Like partials in... In magic partials are weird because you get to keep like the right amount of lands you need and all that but in this where there are no lands it's like it's great it feels it feels yeah. fine like to to be able to keep a partial hand like that here you go no i'm uh i'm gonna go to mulligan i'm only two three i'm gonna go with three two three wow that's terrible okay all right, and in this setup at the beginning of the game here, I'm gonna. Oof. This is a weird one. I'm gonna. I don't want to. Well, I'm gonna play a Wyland as a resource. So uh, in this game, you have your soul row here. We don't have play mats with zones. We should have done that. But uh, we've got your soul row here, and any card can be utilized. Uh, as a soul card with the cost in the bottom. So, not cost, but that's what it does in the bottom. So, Wyland will generate me one white soul energy. I'll tap Wyland to play a Flanagan, which has Eager, which means it can attack the turn that it's played. Flanagan will hit right here at that 11 year card. So, he just destroys my 11 year card, so it flips over. And then I have a decision to make. It can either go into my hand or. It's ability down here says uh, I can place it into my limbo pile, which is your graveyard, and draw one. Uh, but this card is one that I sideboarded out of Louis's collection against him, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and draw it. I passed my turn. Go ahead. Huh. Well. It sounds like we may have both gotten pretty rough hands here. I'm going to play Somber Sacrifice. For soul energy, it can tap for black or white. Um, and I will tap a black for Eligor. Uh, he can tap himself to add black to my soul. So he's like a black Lanoir elf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ahead. All right, here we go. I will. It's not too bad. Um, oh man, yeah, this is weird. This is a weird, weird hand. I'm gonna go ahead and 
Mortal Blow, which was a cyborg. Oh. I'm gonna Einar? Blue? This is the worst game we're gonna get. So many people who play the game are gonna criticize my plays here. My hand is horrible. Uh, and I'm gonna play an Einar. And I'm just gonna pass. This aggro is not aggroing. Go ahead. Alright. May have to switch to mid range here early. Oh. Uh I'm gonna play this insatiable. Cruelty is soul energy. Uh, 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 uh I will tap one black or another Elgor and I will pass my turn with two resources floating don't like to see that um I'm gonna white or tribulation. Uh, so this is a spell. You cast spells at any time unless they're focused for the record. I get to look at my, all my 11 mirror cards and I can place a citizen card from among them with a soul cost of two or less onto the island or I can cast a spell for its 11 mirror cost. Uh, citizen of two or less. It does not gain haste. I think of Flanagan. And then I'm gonna play a Hormaz as a land, and I'll tap two to play a Sven. I now have three or more human citizens, uh, which makes Flanagan gain sidestep. So Flanagan, um, they're both eager, so they can both attack. Let's turn before you go to combat. No, no, boo! You now have three. But you can't <laughs> sideboard a card from my collection and then use it against me. I will give Flanagan minus four, minus four, and it abolishes if it would All die. Right, so it's abolished. All right. So let's see, Einar can still attack. Einar will go there. Oh, I forgot Sven's uh, probe. So Sven enters the battlefield. I get to probe one. At the time, I control three more human citizens. You did. Yep. So I draw one, and then I probe one. Um, I don't want to put either of those. I don't want to put any of these away. So probe is... Uh, you. Draw and then you discard. You're getting close to Duke Raka. Alright, you pass. Alright, so you destroyed my Tacho. He costs a zero to play, so I will play him. Alright, so when you destroy an 11 year card, you have the opportunity to cast it for its 11 year cost, which is on the bottom. In this case, it was zero, so he can cast that, which is a really cool mechanic because. Uh, if I were to have hypothetically been swinging out for the win there, I have to take into consideration that the cards that I am damaging, he may be able to play, and I could change the board state in the middle of my combat. So, yes, it is your turn. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I will. Ooh, it's risky. I don't think I'll do it. I think I'll play an Almas in my soul. Uh, You've got five here is... I do have five. He calls six. Good. Um, I will pass. Okay. My turn. I draw. I'm going to play... Or Maz. 
Other humans I control get plus two, plus two. Please. In response, before he resolves. Uh, I will. Let's see. It's a mystic, so. I will give. Flanagan minus four, minus four, and abolish him. Another card that you sideboarded from my flex. Correct. To be fair, I have them. That's fair. They're just not here. Because I'm at your, your house. Not part of your deck. They are now. <laughs> uh, and then I will pay one. This is still before Hermaz resolves. Correct. Or Maz. Or Maz. Or Maz. Or Maz. I can't pronounce any of the names in this game. I will capital punishment spend. All right, your hormones resolves. It enters the battle. <laughs> uh, Einar, unblockable. Sure. Let's swing here. Uh, look at your load in your cards. You may place one of them in your soul row, engaged, and draw one. Uh, yeah. So I'll pay one and go ahead and cast that. Interesting. Against an aggro deck. Bold. So that's bold. So here's the thing. Look at your eleven year cards. Period. Oh, you may. Gotcha. You may put yeah. one of them in your soul row. So for one, you get to I get to draw yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, that's good. And, and it has a draw one at the end, so yeah. Um Yeah. I'm gonna keep them all there. Not put one in my soul row, but then draw one. Cool. That's all I'm doing. All right. So, I'm sorry. I will disengage. <laughs> Never going to use the correct words. I actually prefer the engage and disengage. To yeah. It feels more like thematic than brings you into the game a little bit more. I'm engaged into the game. <laughs> uh, I'll put this Tacho down. For manas, and then I will. For souls. For soul. For soul. I'll tap six. Here it comes. <laughs> Play a do Kraka. Do Kraka. So do Kraka says citizens your opponents control get minus three, minus three. And if he's on short time two, which means he only has two 11 year cards left, then they get minus five, minus five instead. Just for clarity, that would mean that you are on short time two when your opponent has that. Your yeah, short time two counts your opponent's eleven year cards. Yeah. yeah. And he's just a casual 14, 16 sidestep. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> so your Einar will die. No. Nope. Oh, it's minus not. three, Dang. minus three. It's not, it's not human. Dang. No, it's all citizens. Dang. And um I will go ahead and attack with Tacho. Tacho cannot be blocked by citizens with a total soul cost of three or more. Where you go? I'm going right here. Tribulation. I'm trying to think about what else I had here. I'm going to put that in my hand. That will be my turn. Um. All right. That sucks. I'm gonna play Sven for soul. I'm gonna tap three. And Mortal Blow do Kraka. So Mortal mm -hmm. Blow abolishes target citizen. So that's essentially um, Exile. Exiled. And I will play a Wyland then. Uh, for Blue. Uh, or Maz will come in here. I can't cast it. Okay. 
and then I pass to you. Well, it's about close to what I need. So let's put a Nadar down. Um, go ahead and do this now. I'm going to tap a black and a white to Fatal Poke your Wyland. Good news, that's the last one. He's abolished. All three. <laughs> All three of the sideboard cards. Love it. And then I will pay two black. Play in the dar. Uh, you are tapped down, so let's bring Tacho in right there. Orpheus, and I don't have one resource, which sucks. That would have been clutch. Yeah, Orpheus is coming to my hand. Uh, yeah, I need to put you on short time two. Oh, crap, yeah. I would like to put you on short time two. I don't know if... If you have another eager, if you, you have two cards in hand, mm -hmm. Hans and Orpheus. You know the other one. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> Open Orpheus, and I'll tap that down. Um, I don't remember what's in my 11 year cards. Uh, do I just tap again? Do I just go for it? Ormaz was sidestepped here. Uh, so Ormaz has an ability where I can pay to uh, and give any creature or any um, citizen sidestep. Sidestep, you have to have sidestep to block sidestep. I don't know if we said that earlier. Another one. Oh, really? play another one. <laughs> did you shuffle your deck? <laughs> a lot, actually. A uh, whole lot. Did that make me dead? I pass. Does that mean I'm just dead? Well, I guess. Wait, before I pass, I should play a. I should. I should just play a resource, a soul. See, here's the thing. Um, let's see, Nadar has sidestep. So I will go ahead and move to combat, attack there. Right, so first for strengths, I'm gonna put this in my limbo pile and draw a third. Then I'll tap one, two, three, four, five, six. Play another Dukraka. You're on short time too, so your guys will get minus five, minus five. Okay. So Orpheus will die. Oh, he's a human in Hormaz. Oh, yeah, too. that's fair. That's fair. Take that, Dukraka. Uh, okay. Um, I'll pass.
see, do Graka has a sidestep? Um, so I could pay to... Oh, but I'm just screwed when you attack me. I gotta end this here. You have to win or play a bunch of blockers. Which just die when you attack, when you're... Well, they're only getting minus three, minus three, technically. It's not true. I mean... Right, you're right. As long as they're humans. Yeah. I got five resources. I can play everything in my hand. That's what I have to do. It's not gonna matter. Maybe it will. Okay. Return Dukraka to your hand. Imposed withdrawal. <clears throat> Ugh, I need the two there though. No, I guess I don't need sidestep if. Orpheus tapping. Ilgor. Yo. Yeah, that gets it. Orpheus attacks, tapping Ilgor. Orpheus' ability says whenever you enter the island or attacks, you may engage to system. No! It costs one. You tap my last. Yes! <laughs> tap my last mana. Alright, so Orpheus attacked. Uh, and then Ormaz attacks. 7 9. A block. Okay, Tocho dies. And then Cleo has Eager. Cleo mm -hmm. swings her game. As she does. There's uh, imposed withdrawals. Yeah. Saved you there. We got to run the, the rubber match. <laughs> Stick around. We'll keep playing it. So, I love in the game the decision making of do you attack or do you not based on 11 year cards. And the, the somewhat variance there, there's a little bit of variance unless you have seen your cards and, you know, play right. a spell that allows you to. If you know that you're going to be able to put stuff down on the board or... It would be cool to see some cards that allow you to see your opponent's 11 year cards. You can. Is there already one? Yeah. Um, it's like surveillance something <laughs> or other. It's call it's the only colorless spell. Purely colorless. Colorless. Uh, I think it's one. Only costs one. Oh, yeah. Somebody... I think Noah plays Noah it. Noah plays that, yeah. But you can look... You choose two of your opponent's 11 year cards and they play with those two revealed. Yeah. And I think it has, like, maybe probe attached to it or something. But, um, yeah, that, I don't know. It gives you a little bit of information, but at the same time, it's kind of, it almost feels like, a, like, I need every man I can get. <laughs> like, I can't yeah, waste. Yeah, I, I think it would be cool on a, on a citizen. It might be too broken, but, um, Eventually, there's going to be something to do with your how your 11-year cards, because they very specifically state you cannot reorder them. If I right. kill the one in the middle, then that one stay, that's the one that's gone. And Eventually, it'll be yeah. like your third from the left so roll card or something. Right. Like Oof. Um, gosh, my draws last turn were bad, too. You don't get to shuffle, so anything you put down goes on the bottom, which is rough. I'm gonna... That. Like, I can't put these cards on the bottom, which makes it really... Like, I need them for later in the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do one. Do two. 
Huh. I'm on the draw, aren't I? I have been any better. Yes, yes you are. Dang. Sucks for you. Uh, I will play a somber sacrifice and pass. Imposed. Leo has eager. No, I knew Capital it was going to happen. <laughs> Capital punishment destroys target creatures, uh, citizen with a two or less, two or less cost. Uh, it dies, so I get to probe, which is draw one and discard one. I, I feel like Ferocious Ranks, where you get to look at your 11 year cards and you get to play a two or less, and it goes back to your 11 year after the end against Eager. It's not two it's, or less, though. It's any. Isn't it any? A citizen. Oh, that's yeah. better. It was only good to me when Charlie was in the deck. Yeah. Once I took Charlie out, I took those. It's out. a good turn two card. It's not. It's only good if you can hit like an Orpheus. I know, it's weird. Like, it works well if you have the right cards, but it's a horrible card. Like, sometimes you have three spells, and it's like, you don't want to hit a spell. All right, all right, go ahead. I like Tribulation much better right. than that. Um, so... But it's also a dual land, so it's hard. Yeah, this this deck has a little bit of issue with non-dual lands, I think. A lot of my stuff in here is mono black. Um, but there's also not a lot of white in my cost either. So. Uh, I will go ahead and tap a black for a Tacho. And tap a black for an Elagor. And pass. So Wyland down, tap a Wyland, play a Wyland, mm -hmm. tap, pose withdrawal to play a Tribulation. So Tribulation allows me to look at my 11-year cards and cast one that's two or less. What's the chances you don't have any? <laughs> Low. I think that's probably the easy play here. Or I can cast one for its 11 year costs. That's interesting. There aren't many spells, though, that that have an 11 year cost. Yeah. Most of them you put. You... Well, it's any. Or cast a spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does say so. Uh, yeah, I'll take Einar. Uh, it does not gain haste. I am done. Go ahead. Oh, you're just going to destroy me. You've got this one for sure. Maybe not. I uh, will play a Charlie's Ascendancy. Uh, tap two to Fatal Poke Wyland. Abolishes. <laughs> not that it matters in your deck. Uh, and I will attack with Tacho right there. Einar cannot block. Uh, let's throw Tribulation to my hand. I'll pass it up. Oof. First of strength for resource. Yeah. 
Orpheus, tap that. Mm -hmm. In response. In res I'll tap Orpheus for black. Nice. Fatal poke I nine. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> hey, but I'm out of cards now. That's that's actually crazy. That's <laughs> that's very good. Uh, all right, Orpheus lands. Uh, I'll tap one. Play another tribulation. Okay. I think this is what I want. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually better. Yeah. Another Orpheus. What would you like to tap? <laughs> uh, and then I pass. Or we just came out last, this turn, right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> no do Kraka in hand. Well, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I will pass. It's a wild thing. All right, I draw. Ugh. How crazy is it that the aggro decks on? Short time three, and I still have yeah. all my left cards. Uh, so I'm gonna go. Orpheus tapping Elgor. In response, I'll tap it for black. Okay, so I'm going here. Uh, I'll put that in my hand. <laughs> uh, I mean, Orpheus is going to get killed, but Orpheus attacks before he, Tojo. Before he attacks, I'll use my black, and I will... Do, does that not... We're still in combat, so I assume that it... I mean, it's the way have, magic you have, works. You it stays actually into thing. your face. So. Alright, so you're capital punishing. Yeah, yep. That destroys target creature. Two or less. Alright. Rip, go ahead. All right. I thought you wanted cards in hand. Well, I, I got one. <laughs> I used it. Oh, wait, did I not play a... Oh, hold on. I still got things to do. I'm sorry. No, you I, said go. Uh, I don't want this. Oh, because I thought I was going to get you a short time for it, and I didn't. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter, though. I'm still going to play Theodore. Draw one. Play Flanagan. Then I pass. I'm sorry. Alright. Already drew. So. Can't play Dukraka. This is a weird game. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> Do something! <laughs> I can't. I don't have any cards. Give me some cards. Uh, I mean, you're just going to have something that removes. Um, That's the downside to this deck. If we can get some white or black card draw. Flanagan. Mm. It's unfortunate. Mm. Orpheus tapping Elgor. I have a response. Of course you do. <laughs> I'll tap it for black. Tap this for white. And I will fatal poke Flanagan. Abolish. And now I don't control three or other. Correct. Humans, so. But which card are you attacking? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. In response to Fatal Poke. Yes. In response to... F but I'm already in my combat step. You are. So do I impose withdrawal Flanagan? Yeah, I do. For next turn. You have one card in hand? Mm-hmm. I'm going to impose withdrawal Flanagan before the Fatal Pope resolves right. to return Flanagan to my hand. Which card are you attacking with Wolfies? 
this one. I will draw that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, yeah, Theodore. Here? Mm-hmm. Uh, I cannot cast him, so I will draw him. Uh, and then I will pass. So Flanagan. Yeah, but I don't want to kill Flanagan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to use well, I, do. With, I want to kill. I want to use slamming of a sidestep next turn. Okay. Well, I'm capital punishment. Or for you, on your end step. Great. Uh, By the way, Flanagan, from the camera, you may not be able to tell, but his his head is not a hat. It's hair, it's his hair. which is <laughs> wild. When I first learned that, I was like, oh my gosh, I want a full. Like a, just his. I face. guarantee it's like the you, most annoying artwork. I want like just his face here. So did you buy one of the shirts? Yes. Did, yeah. I guarantee you, I'm going to get the Flanagan. You can't wear like, that anywhere. Right. You can't wear that shirt. I'll never be able to wear it. I love I'll it. get Flanagan. I know I will. <laughs> um. Wow, you dropped Osiris as a. You must have your dude Kraka, huh? I, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to tap for two and play an Almas. And we'll go ahead and pass. One card in hand. Mm -hmm. All right. Orpheus. Tap. Almas. Okay. No. Cut real great. What's there to play here? I'm just gonna tap him for mana. <laughs> yeah, tap Almas. Okay. Uh let's see something looks like. Flame again. Hmm. Flame again with side step here. Landing him a side step here. That's all I got. Okay, so on your end step, I'm going to tap the non sequin. And Infinity Blade. Uh, but I am going to abolish for my soul row instead of discard. That Eldor saved you. Then I will untap and play to Kraka. You have no poker face. You don't have it, do you? <laughs> I literally just drew it. No! <laughs> I saw your little smirk when you didn't have, like, when, uh, can't. I'll play my other Infinity Blade that I was holding. Tap six. <laughs> Dukraka. Alright, so I lose both Lanigans. Yeah, you're only on, you're only minus three, minus three right now. All right. 
Um, I have no cards in hand. Nothing. I don't want to give you more cards, so I'm just going to pass. One turn too late. <laughs> that was a pretty clutch draw. One turn too late. Oh, I can't do anything. Else. Okay. I feel like every game that I've played of this has come down to the wire. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, they're not... It, games don't feel really one-sided. It's the card draw thing. It's like yeah. the, the, you know, the card. You're losing. Game. When you lose life, you gain card advantage. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess. I mean, I have five attackers. You can block two, but I'm afraid of what I turn over. I will send Ducrocus since he's sidestep in here. Ugh. That's not good. Put that in my hand. <laughs> That's not good at all. Alright, well. I think I have to, like... Mortal Blow abolishes target citizen over one. I have to. That's what he just I have to over. win. Or. I don't think you get the win here. I gotta have no citizens for you to get the win. I know. That's the, that's the scary thing. I think I have you to. You don't go. necessarily get the loss, though, either. I don't, but. Like, I hit you, Krakka. I can't beat you. I have no sidestep. You can give one with Hormoz. That's true. So I can give you to one, though. You can give me a one, but what if you draw? Yeah. I mean. You're looking for a second Duke Rocket right now. I think I have to go for bust, though. But the problem is, well, your everything is minus three. No, minus five, minus five right now. So minus three, minus three because of Formos. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And it's just other. So he's technically minus five, minus five. So this is just a two, three. And this is a two, four. Mm -hmm. All right. Alma's targeting both of these because he's ravenous. But I can still just block it with one. You can. Okay. Uh, then I think I am done attacking. If you if you Infinity Blade for Miles right now, would <laughs> be so pissed. If I had Infinity Blade, I would just <laughs> I just finish it. Uh. Uh, I'm going to tap four and play a Fiona and then pass. There's no way I come out of this. Yeah, I don't even have the resources. I have to kill Dukraka or blow. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just for the fun of it, I'll give Hormoz. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I don't have the. You're just gonna swing in. So for fun, I will uh, give Hormoz sidestep to hit your last card. So I do you... have a sidestepper. No. All right, you just win. <laughs> 
Ugh. Yeah, I just didn't have the creatures that... Going second in that matchup's rough for me. It is. Well, and... By the way, you, you would have got... Uh, you would have gotten it because I couldn't have played Tiberius, and I knew that. I tried to beat you. I see, I knew that you knew what you had, but... Yeah, I, I, tr I tried to beat you into not attacking, <laughs> because... Even if you didn't attack, though... Here's... I didn't have the resources to... to Mortal Blow and Hormaz. Here was here was my graveyard though. This is what beat you. Right. It was three capital pucks, yeah. but three fatal pokes, an infinity blade. And I had a second yeah. infinity blade. And a whole deck here full of not that stuff. Like Yeah. I mean well, I do run a lot of removal. <laughs> Removal's the king, man. Good game. Yep. It was fun. Congrats on your beat me. That's why I'm the Champion. Champion. Yeah, you did beat me that too. <laughs> all right, everyone. So, again, thank you for watching all the way through. If you're still here, probably an hour later. Um, but uh, it's a super fun game. It's a, The interaction is so much different than Magic. The gameplay, though, the, the mechanics of the game are so similar to Magic. It's super easy to pick up if you have played Magic the Gathering. Uh, but the decision-making, in my opinion, is so different based on when you attack, the other person's getting resources or cards. So... Um, definitely a really cool game. Pick it up for free. Uh, go to my website, cavitiesmarket.com. You just pay shipping. I'll send you two of the pre-con decks because uh, I've been opening the packs from the pre-cons uh, just because boxes are a little scarce right now. So, cool. Anything else to say, bud? No, I mean, uh, find a uh, find a local game store if you're not in this area that, and can tell them they can... Uh, what did Tanner say you could reach out to distributors to yeah. get a, like tell, a welcome Tell your local kit? game store to get a, a welcome kit from um, from Southern Hobby. And uh, they've got some decks that you can try out this stuff. And it will get them in the kind of conversation with their rep about uh, Cryptic, which will be super good. So make sure you do that. And um, officially releases... March, in March. 23rd, it got delayed. Third, I think it got delayed a little bit. So yeah. it's in March. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Remember to be kind to people around you, and we'll see you again next video. Cool. Hopefully that all. Yep.